So hello guys and welcome back to another class of our course about learning Excel for data analytics. So in this class we are gonna talk about condition formatting. So it's our second course about the, the basics of Excel. Until now we saw a class, well we saw our recap and we saw how to use the if function and the vlookup. Uh, this if function will be very very useful uh, in our condition formatting class because it's uh, well it's almost uh, the same thing it's just uh, a bit more uh, visual so before we start uh, what is condition formatting so when we are doing let's say for example a function or whatever we are writing down we want uh, to have a visual of it so let's say for example we write down if a function if and we say uh, let's write it down it's gonna be easier so let's say I write down if if for example this case equals one I will return zero in other case I will return one so if this case equals one I will return zero well the if function will say as I said here for example if this case equals one will return zero if not will return one but if we do condition formatting we can do something different we can do it differently so for example we can say if this case equals uh, one for example it's gonna be green if it's not equal to one well it's gonna be red so condition formatting is really like um, let's say to put conditions and uh, show more visually how uh, something works so we're gonna see how it really works condition formatting and how you can use it so there are many many ways that you can use uh, condition formatting uh, first of all what we I want you to do guys for open up your Excel folder go in your uh, home uh, section and it's gonna be here so condition formatting is uh, the tab right there to understand it what we'll do first of all uh, we'll create a uh, table of random numbers so simply write down equal and uh, rent between so we're gonna write down rent between one and let's say 50 then once we'll, we'll simply drag it down so as you can see we have a lot of random numbers I will explain you the condition formatting part um, from well from here to there because I want start I want I want to start really with the, the easiest part and uh, go a bit to the hardest part even if it's not that hard so how all this works so as I said, the condition formatting is really to show you, let's say more visually, what uh, a database looks like. So for example, we have this basic database of just numbers. They, there is nothing, only numbers here. So let's say we select them all. And we go in condition formatting and we want to have a color scale. And let's say we choose uh, this color scale. So what's, uh, what does it mean? As you can see, the smallest, the smaller the number is, well, the greener will be the color and the higher the number is, well, the color will be redder. So each time we refresh uh, our, our, let's say, database, it's going to adjust and it's going to do the exact same thing. So let's say you have a database and you want to find out the smallest numbers, the biggest numbers, or just use this as a condition. Well, we can do it here with the condition formatting and simply use the color scale. You can even create your own rule. So for example, you select uh, all this, we'll just uh, clear the rules. So we come back here uh, in color scale. If you want to create more rules, well, you can create your own rules uh, right here based on uh, anything you want. But once again, the basics of all this is really just uh, to use it as a color scale. Um, the second thing will be the data bars. It's uh, the same thing as the color scales, just uh, this time it's going to be with uh, bars. Um, it's just a way to present your results and it's uh, more easier to understand. So let's say we want to want something like this. So as you can see, it's going to, well, when the number is equal to 1, for example, it's not going to be filled. When it's equal to 50, well, it's uh, filled. And each time you refresh uh, the database, it will do the exact same thing. So as I said, the condition formatting is really to present the results the best way possible. Um, you can do it in two ways, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you're here, you can do it this way. So this type of presentation or this type of presentation right here. And once again, you can add more uh, rules. Uh, if you want to add more complex rules, you can do it. Simply click on uh, more rules right here. So once again, we'll clear uh, the rules on selected cells. All right. So next... Uh, 
next tab will be this one here um so once again here uh those are a bit more complex uh, rules but once again they are very easy to understand so for example you want to have the top uh, 10 items or uh, the top let's say 20 items uh, you can do it for example if you have a database of let's say 100,000 numbers and you want to find out the top uh, three numbers well uh, you simply click on three and you will find them out same thing here so it's like the top 10% or the top uh, let's say 3% you can do it you can then choose the color that you want to use for example you want it green you want it, you want it uh, light red or whatever um, you can uh, do it it's very simple to do so let's uh, try it out right now with the top 10% so for example you want to you want the top 10% uh, you simply click here and for example you want the top 1% well you will have it so the highest 1% is 49 and each time you refresh the page well, you have it as you can see it's 50 50 50 50 so if the numbers are the same it's gonna give you like all the numbers and this is the top uh, let's say one percent uh, you can do the same thing for the bottom you want to find out the bottom 10 uh, items or the bottom 10 percent well uh, you simply click there and you will find it out so let's uh, try it out we we'll simply click here uh, go in the top 10 uh, well the bottom 10 percent and let's say one one at uh, green Let's say you want the bottom five percent, and as you can see, the bottom ten, the highest uh, ten percent or five percent, uh, will be in red. Well, it's one percent here, and that the bottom five percent are in green. And each time you refresh, well, Excel will automatically adapt and uh, will give you the right answers. So once again, as I said, it's really to present the results. So let's clear uh, the rules once again. Simply go here and click on uh, clear rules. All right, so right now you understand, oh, you can also do uh, above or below average. So for example, for a certain uh, average, let's uh, try it out just uh, to show you visually what it looks like. Um, let's say I want, I want uh, all my cells that are above the average to be a certain color. So what Excel will do here, he will calculate the average of all those cells and will uh, select all the cells that are above the average. And I can choose the color that I want. For example, I want it red. And uh, green, I'm sorry, I want a green, it's going to look like this. If I want to do both of them, so above and below the average. So as you can see, all my cells that are above the average are uh, green. And all the cells that are below the average are red. And each time I refresh my Excel tab, uh, my Excel spreadsheet, sorry. Uh, it adapts automatically to my, uh, well, to my work. So as I said, it's really for a visual presentation. All right, so let's clear uh, all our rules. Perfect. So right now we'll go to our more uh, advanced part. But once again, as I said, it's uh, not that hard to understand. Um, here, for example, if I want to add conditions, for example, all the cells that are greater than uh, a certain cell. So for example, I go here, I click on all the cells that are greater than five. So as you can see, Excel will automatically adapt. So all the cells that are greater than five will be in a light red. I can do the exact same thing, for example, for 10 or any number, for example, 50, well, no numbers are greater than 50. So Excel will automatically adapt. So it's like an if function. So for example, if this, if uh, one of those numbers is greater than uh, five, return a red cell. If not, well, don't return a cell. And uh, that's, uh, well, don't return a color in the cell. So here what it's, uh, we can add more than one rule. So if we add more than one rule, Excel will take all those rules in consideration. So let's say, for example, we create, we, we use this database and uh, we want to format it this way. So all the number, well, all the numbers that are greater than 25 will be in red, in, in green. Let's put it green. will be in green. And all the numbers that are less than 25 will be in red. So as you can see, all the numbers that are greater than 25 are in green and less are in red. But right now, all our 25s are uh, with no colors. We want to add color there. So what we will do, we'll go back here. And all the numbers that are equal to 25, well, are going to be, let's say, yellow. So as you can see, we have a table like this with multiple rules. And uh, once again, it's really, really easy to spot our numbers. For example, we want to spot something on our huge database. Well, we can directly do it here with the condition formatting. 
Once again, you can do a bit more uh, advanced, uh, well, more advanced tools. You can uh, do lookups with text or uh, some other more advanced things. Once again, we're going to stay really to the basics, which are, uh, well, those rules. So right now you understand a bit what is condition formatting. As I said, condition formatting is just a way to present way easier the data instead of using an if function and returning numbers or yes or no's. Um, we can directly present the data with the visuals, with colors, and it's more, well, it's way easier to spot than to use uh, some if functions or a VLOOKUP or whatever, because the data will uh, be directly on our database. And it's way easier to work with on the databases, well, complex databases, when we have condition formatting on them. So that's it for this course, guys, and see you all in our next class.